Hey everybody, this is Josh with Homesteading Family and I am filling in for Carolyn today. And as you guys know, we like to find ways to extend our harvest season, our growing and our harvest season uh, with fresh vegetables. So right now we've got kales and chards that have done really well, made it through 10 inches of snow and 20 degree weather. And if you saw the photo the other day, we also are experimenting with some other greens like sorrels that also did really, really well after uh, being buried in the snow. And uh, But this morning, I was out checking on things. The snow's melted. It's warmed up a little bit. And after a, uh, what, a little over a week of 20 degree weather, uh, I was just looking around to see what was going on out in the garden. And I found a surprise, a black zucchini. Now, not surprising that it was there. We grew a lot of zucchini. And um, so not surprising that we missed some. But what is a surprise, if you can see this, the size of this, is that this has made it through 10 inches of snow and a week of 20 degree weather, and it is completely solid. It's, it's like a winter squash. It's not rotted. It's got a little, uh, little critter nibbled on it here, but it's completely solid. That is a huge surprise to us that, that the summer squash the zucchini would make it through that weather. So we're curious if it's any good on the inside and uh, I thought we'd cut it up right here with you and we'll check it out. Wow, look at that. First cut, it is, it's solid, it's not mushy. Uh, who would have thought? I, I am, I'm impressed. I don't know about you guys, I would not have expected a summer squash to make it through this kind of weather and uh, turn out to be potentially edible. So it is, and it's not frozen. So you might be thinking it's just frozen, but it's not. Uh, it's pretty cool. I'm just gonna cut it down here and we'll get to a piece. Feels good, looks good, no. I don't usually just eat zucchini raw, but um, wow, the texture's good. This is really, really cool. A summer squash, a zucchini, that made it through 20 degree weather. So, you know what? We're gonna, what, scramble it up, I think, this morning uh, with some eggs and some tomatillos and maybe some onions and check it out. But uh, who knew that you could extend your growing season with black zucchini. If you guys have heard of this, let us know. I'd be really curious other people's experience, but um, this is a new one for us and really, really cool. See you soon.